Five facts about North Europeans. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For who's new here, hello, I'm Mary Jane. I'm a full-time traveler and right now I'm doing a two weeks trip from London to Bergen, Norway via Overland. I'm vlogging the trip and publishing every episode on this channel. Right now I'm at about the half of my trip, so if you want to join me in the rest of the trip, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Today I thought it would be nice to talk about five facts that I noticed about North European people and North Europe in general. So let's go! First one, there are a lot of babies and kids around. If you come to countries like the Netherlands, like Sweden, Denmark, Norway, you will realize that there are kids everywhere. And if you walk around the city center, you will see a lot of parents walking around with a stroller. And in the buses, you will see mothers feeding their babies. And in the restaurants, you will see the same. Basically, there are many kids and babies all around the place. I don't know if it's because they tend to make a lot of babies, to have a lot of babies, or it's just because they tend to go out a lot with their kids, which I think is very healthy. But certainly it doesn't help that I come from Italy, the country with the lowest percentage of babies per woman, I think. And we are I think one of the oldest countries in the world right now. So when I'm back home in Italy, I don't really see any babies or children. It's very rare. And also I, th I feel like Italian mothers tend to stay at home with their kids rather than take them out in the city. Second one, houses are super cozy. I mean, look at this. I'm in Norway right now in a very beautiful cabin and it's very representative of how the houses are here. It's probably because they have to stay more time at home because of the long winter and the cold outside. So they pay a lot of attention to make their houses very cozy. And you will see that basically everywhere the floors are made of wood and sometimes the walls are made of wood too, or the ceiling, so that gives that already that dry warm feeling but also also the furniture is very beautiful warm with kind of warm wooden colors and they also tend to have these huge sofas where you can just lay down and read a book with a blanket and a cup of hot chocolate in your hand I absolutely love coming here because of the houses. If I had to pick a house for myself, I would definitely take inspiration from northern countries because their houses are places where you can really feel you want to stay inside. You want to stay home and, I don't know, do some indoors activities, just curl up with a cup of hot tea and watch outside of the window, for example or watch a movie, read a book, something like that. I really, really love staying at home here. Third one, which goes together with the second one, indoor places are warmer. Again, I come from Italy and in the southern countries of Europe in general, the indoor places are not so warm. They tend to stay between 18 degrees and 20 degrees, but you can go even lower to 16 degrees and in the very south many houses don't even have a proper heating system because there are only two months of winter in the whole year so they feel like there's not a real need for a proper heating system i know that for example in the south of spain they don't even have a heating system at all probably also in the very south of italy i'm not sure about that i've never been in the winter there but here in the north of europe it's 23 degrees, let's say between 10, 22 and 25 degrees, basically everywhere. Even if you go to shopping malls, to the shops, inside the trams and the buses, inside the trains, they always make sure to have a quite high temperature, I guess to let the people warm up when they come from the outside, where it's very cold in the winter. And I suffered the cold a lot, so I'm very happy about it. But sometimes it could be a bit intense because exactly you come from the outside and it's like 
minus 5 and then you switch to plus 23 and you have your two sweaters, your coat, jackets, your scarf, your hat, everything on and you feel like you want to die because you start melting down. But I personally prefer too warm than too cold in general. So, yoohoo, Northern Europe. Fourth one, women's rights and gender perception. Woo. I think this is a big one, it's kind of a hot topic and I want to be very careful because I don't want to offend anyone. My impression of women here in the north of Europe also talking both with men, women and with men is that they tend to be very very self-cautious about equal rights between gender which is of course a very good cultural trend that's taking place in the whole western countries nowadays and this has a lot of good consequences in the north european countries i already mentioned the fact that people have lots of kids here this is also because women have a lot of months of maternity that they, they can take off from work. But you can see in general, even in politics for example, they have way more women politicians and they can have women working at the highest po position in the companies. I consider myself an emancipated woman. I totally support equal rights for both genders. As a Southern European woman though, I tend to consider North European women a little bit exaggerated. It's good to support equal rights, but at the same time, I still feel like genders are there for a reason. Like, there are men and women, and we are not the same. And I love the fact that nowadays, men can be very feminated without having to be shameful about that and women can be very masculine. I love this and I think it's a big step forward in the civilization process. But at the same time, I still feel there are some differences that are just there. So for example, if a man asks a woman to carry her box because it seems very heavy, another woman can get offended by that offer because she feels like the man thinks that she's weak and she cannot carry the box or for example the act of opening the door for a woman I mean those are things that you cannot really do here and I've heard about southern men who came here to northern countries and they had quite a bit of a problems because they offended women just being trying to be kind with them so this is a big cultural difference and please if you are a southern man take in consideration these things when you come visit these kind of countries and if you are a southern woman please don't get offended if a man doesn't offer to carry your very heavy bag or box or whatever it's just that northern women tend to consider that as an offense so please keep this in mind Fifth fact about North Europe. Okay, this is also a controversial one. I hope no one will get offended. I have no intention of offending anyone, but guys, I come from Italy and I travel a lot to many different countries in Europe. And I must say that the food here, no, I'm sorry. Northern countries have so many good qualities, but food is really not, not your best one. Of course, there is some amazing food also here, especially in Norway. I tried so many different traditional, delicious plates, delicious foods, but in general, like as a general tendency, the food is not really your strength, let's say. And certainly they have good meats, good cheese, good dairy products, but of course, because of the climate here, it's difficult to have very good vegetables and fruits, which is, in my opinion, the base of nutrition. The bread tends to be quite good, it's very rich and nutritious, but it's also very strong in flavor. And yes, you can have different kind of breads, but in the end it's always the same thing, it's a little bit monotonous. And if you don't have so much variety in the vegetables and cereals, that makes it a little bit difficult to cook. But I don't want to talk just about vegetables, I mean also the taste, like the taste that people have. They are very content with some pretty good cooked meals, whereas I feel like in southern countries, and especially in my country, Italy, we are very strict about food. 
The food has to be very properly cooked. There are some combinations of foods that are proper, some combination of foods that are not proper at all, and you should not combine those foods. And then we pay a lot of attention to the consistency, to the balance of flavors. I mean, there are many factors involved, whereas here the kitchen is a little bit more simple. Not so much attention to the details, let's say that. All right, I hope you will agree with some of the things that I said. I hope also that some of you disagree with some of the things that I said and will comment below to let me know so we can discuss about it because constructive discussion is always an occasion to learn from. So please let me know what you think about the, the things that I said. What are the other facts of North Europe that you notice if you visited these countries or if you live in these countries or if you come from these countries? Please subscribe to my channel if you want to follow my two weeks trip from London to Norway. I have already published four or five vlogs I don't remember and some others more are coming out in the next weeks. Also, if you are on Instagram, please follow me there because I post all the pictures and the stories of my trips. Goodbye!